84-year-old Angela Klein Sorge was found raped and stabbed to death in her San Diego home in February of 1992. Even though regular DNA testing was done, it didn't match any individuals in a statewide offender database, and the case remained cold until 2016, when San Diego police and the DA's office submitted the case to the Department of Justice for familial DNA testing. Familial DNA allows us to search offender databases with wider parameters, identifying people who are likely to be close relatives of the person who may have committed the crime. The familial DNA testing led to Jeffrey Falls, the brother of a convicted criminal who was deceased. Falls was killed in a motorcycle accident in 2006, but his tissue samples provided by the coroner matched the crime scene sample, pointing to Falls as a murderer. When we're able to take the technology that we have today and apply it to a sample that was collected decades ago, and you're able to go back into time and resurrect that sample and bring it to today and test it and be able to come up with something that 10 years ago or 15 years ago you could not have conceived of, it, it's remarkable. Although the killer is no longer alive, the fact that he was identified brings some closure to the victim's family. After 25 years, we have our answer. While we have only partial closure, at, we, at least we know Mr. Falls no longer thinks he got away with the rape and murder of our mother.